Bună ziua și bine ați venit la Oradea pentru competiția TREM IM, ediția a 10-a, care va decide care este cel mai bun Batman din Europa. Sunt 25 de echipe care s-au înscris la startul acestei competiții, echipe venite din 19 orașe ale Europei, inclusiv Oradea, care organizează, iată, în premieră această competiție, România, de altfel, organizează în premieră această competiție, așa că haideți să aplaudăm toate echipele aliniate la start! Pe parcursul acestei zile veți urmări șase discipline, șase probe în care vadmanii își vor demonstra măestria. Vor fi probe cât se poate de dificile și cât se poate de interesante, așa că merită să rămâneți alături de noi. Le spunem bun venit și celor care ni se alătură pe live stream, pentru că suntem online în acest moment pe canalul de YouTube și de Facebook al Trem IM. Ne vede o întreagă lume, putem să spunem, și vrem să le arătăm că Oradea este un oraș minunat cu oameni extraordinari și că această organizare perfectă uh, demonstrează faptul că merităm să fim uh, centrul, până la urmă, al uh, acestui concurs la nivel uh, european. Probele sunt uh, aproape de început. Îi dau legătura lui Victor pentru a comenta prima probă. Mulțumesc, Bogdan, doamnelor, domnișoarelor și domnilor, Vă salut și eu de la postul de comentator al acestei extraordinare competiții, campionatul european al vatmanilor. Dragi prieteni, vom stabili astăzi care este într-adevăr cel mai bun driver, dar și cea mai bună echipă din Europa. Deocamdată titlul aparține celor de la Hanovra, pe care vom vedea pe lista de start pe grilă, pe poziția a doua, vor pleca cu numărul 2 de concurs, pentru că primii care sunt la star vor fi orădenii noștri, dragi prieteni, orădenii, aplauză pentru Oradea, pentru că le merită din plin atât organizatorii cât și cei doi concurenți. E vorba despre tandemul format din Eva Rozalia Caroi și Leon Teonița. Îi salut pe această cale și dor le doresc mult, mult succes, Bogdane. Ai și tu emoții pentru ei, bănuiesc. Cu siguranță, pentru că s-au pregătit foarte mult pentru acest moment și am să întreb cât de dificil a fost ceea ce ați făcut până astăzi pentru Hello and welcome to the 10th European Tram Driver Championship. I'm Catalin Constantin and I will be your host for this event. We are in Oradea, Romania. Once a year, the best tram drivers on the continent come together to find out who's the best in Europe. The championship is this all about safety and skill while having fun. There are 25 teams from 19 countries competing for the title, so stick around to see the Europe's best tram diver. The first team that will open the competition is the team from Oradea, with the drivers Eva Rosalia Caroli and Leonte Onitsa. The drivers will compete in uh, six disciplines. Okay, so this is the start of the competition. Leon Teonitsa will uh, start. So we're gonna go to the first discipline, which is emergency stop, where the driver has to speed up to 25 kilometers, and when the traffic light turns red, the driver has to initiate the emergency brake. That was a perfect stop, actually. He managed to get 500 points. And the second discipline is Tram Billiard. That was a good, that was a good hit. I think they gained 200 points. And the third discipline is a hot one. Actually, this year we have a new discipline. The driver has to put out a fire with a fire extinguisher. Now getting ready for the fourth discipline, the other team member has to position the dummy in such a way that the tram driver doesn't touch it. The referee will have to measure the distance between the dummy and the tram cart and give points according to that. Let's have a look. Can he do it? Oh, that's pretty close. I think he has to drive further. 
Wow, he's going uh, slow. He really has to speed up a little bit because we are also having the time that goes on. So the fifth discipline, it's the perfect stop where the driver has to stop the tram car with the third double door facing the red arrow or at least next to it to get some points. So let's see. Oh, that's pretty far off. That's pretty far off. And now moving on to the sixth and final discipline, tram bowling. Let's see how many pins he can get. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. So the total numbers on the pins will be multiplied by 30. And after that, the driver has to run to push the red button, so the time stops. Perfect. To be honest with you, I was a little bit scared in the morning because we had quite of a windy situation here in Oradea. But now I can see everything is settled because uh, I really wanted to see the tram bowling taking place. So now we move on to the second team, Hanover. With Jessica Schluter and Andreas Brooks. They uh, are the winners of last year's competition, 2022. So last year they won in the Leipzig competition. Also 25 teams from 19 European countries. And last year we had for the first time a team from Melbourne, Australia. And now, Hanover team starts their turn with Andrea Brooks. Let's see how many points they can get. So the first discipline with emergency stop. Oh, that's a little bit far off. So zero points for Hanover in the first discipline. So the second one, the tram billiard. The driver has to hit the cue to set the ball in motion without touching the tripod or the pool table. Otherwise, the driver will score zero points. managed to get 150 points. Moving on to the new discipline. Now rushing up for the fourth one. We can see Jessica putting the dummy in the right position. And Andreas driving the car. Let's see how many points he can score in this round. Fifth discipline. A perfect stop. Let's see if he can manage to stop with the double doors. The thing is that the drivers cannot they, uh, cannot look in the rear mirrors because they, they don't have any or the cameras. So we can see the driver's skill. And now to the tram bowling. Let's see how many pins Andreas can take down. Come on, Andreas. Speed up, speed up. Wow, that was good. That was good. It's better than zero points, actually. So that, uh, that pin will be multiplied by 30. And now they push the red button. 
So their first round is finished. Moving on with the Dublin team. While the trams are set into place, we have Shauna Eccles and Ian Collins from Dublin. It's the first time when they come to the Tram EM event. So they already started. And now we can see Shauna going into the first discipline, the emergency stop. Come on, Shauna, speed up to 25. Red light, she stops. Oh, that's, that's a good stop. She managed to get 350 points, which for now it's better than Hanover. Now moving on to the second discipline, Tram Billiard. Come on, Shauna, just a little bit more. It's a super soft touch. And I think that counts. So another 250 points. And now she has to put uh, put out a fire. Perfect. That was a little misunderstanding. She's supposed to go into the tram cart. It's okay. They just lost like I don't know, like five seconds or seven seconds, something like that. We can see that she's really focused on the next challenge. So will she pass? And I think yes, it's pretty close. Good, they scored 100 points. So now on to the perfect Stop. So the third double door has to face the red arrow. It's a little bit pretty far off. Okay, Dublin, we're back on the move. Very good hit, come on, come on. Oh, zero points. Almost three minutes. It's their first time competing. But that was a good run. Hopefully they also had fun. And now, moving on to the team from Berlin with Silvio Arndt and uh, Roswitha Kaswich. So the tram cards are set into place. And now we will start with the fourth run, fourth team. 
first discipline. Oh, they are so ready. I think Roswita is the first, uh, she's the first driver. Let's see. Oh, yes. First discipline, emergency brake. Oh. But I think she got 50 points. Yeah, super close though. But 50 is better than zero. So moving on. Trump Billiard. Let's see how many points she can score. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, that was. That was almost perfect. Plus 200 points for Berlin. Now Rosuita will have to put that fire out. Now Silvio signals Rosvita that the dummy is in place. So she drives to the fourth discipline. Let's see how many points she can score. One hundred points. So now the perfect stop. Can she do it? Can she score any points? Oh, where's the red arrow? Oh. Pretty far off. Pretty far off. Moving on. For the sixth and final discipline, tram bowling. Come on, Rosita. Rosita, sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, another one, maybe, maybe. Not sure if the fourth one fell. Okay. The time is stopped. Almost three minutes. Good run. First run for Team Berlin. The Debrechen team. I think they're ready to start. We, we just have to wait a little bit for the tram carts to be set in place. Okay, so they pressed the green button. Martin Borsos. First participation in Tram EM. And uh, Tecla Hartiani. Driving into the first discipline. The emergency stop. Let's see how many points they can score. It's good. 150, I think. Yes. Very good, Martin. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was so close. But 450 points. It's quite a lot. That was fast. Very good, Martin. Also, Tekla. She arranged dummy, and I think she also signaled to Martin. Yeah. That's the go sign right there. Okay, Martin, let's see if you can pass that dummy. I know that in the last year's competition, if the drivers could not pass the dummy, they had to signal to the referee, and they would have get 150 points if they were right. Now, unfortunately, Tekla positioned the dummy way further. So they scored zero points in the fourth discipline. First run, first time. I think, he, I think he's a little bit nervous. But hey, it's a European Championship. Will he manage to get any points? Okay, so as you can see, zero points, unfortunately. It's a very hard discipline. Because they... They really have to put their skills up there. Whoa! Whoa! Another one falls down! <laughs> awesome! Very good, Martin. Very good. Managed to get a lot of points from uh, the tram bowling. Also, the time is okay. Over a little bit over three minutes. But again, for a uh, first time participation. That was a good run for Debrechen team. Moving on now with the Dresden team. We're having Jana Wendler and Marcel Hoffman. They are also uh, a new team player from Dresden because it's the first time when they are competing in the Tram EM Championship. So we can see the result teams. The first place, Oradea. Debrechen, Hanover, Berlin, Dublin. In 2012, when um, the competition started, a myth was born. Can a host win the European Tram Driver Championship? And in 2019, Brussels did it. And maybe this year, also, Rada can do it. You can see now Bogdan, our field moderator. Okay, I'm not gonna go on with him. I 
Kimi pentru că au foarte mare emoții, așa că am să-i las să înceapă. Yeah, you can start with luck. Okay, they are a little bit nervous. Hopefully Bogdan didn't put any more pressure on them. So let's see, Dresden team, Jana Wendler, Marcel Hoffman. They're waiting to push the green button. So the time can start. All right. I think uh, Jana will rev. Yes. First discipline. Emergency stop. That's a good stop. She managed to get 300 points. And now moving on to a tram billiard. So 100 points from the tram billiard. Now the third discipline. Yana. She managed to put the fire out. And at the same time, Marcel, I think he's setting up the dummy for the fourth discipline. So he has to position the dummy in such a way that the tram driver doesn't touch it. Because if the dummy is touched, the driver will get zero points. I'm not sure if Marcel signaled Jana that she can drive. I think she's facing a technical problem. Come, Yana, because the time didn't stop. So we are two minutes in, two and a half minutes actually. No. So it's a technical difficulty. Hopefully the tram card is okay. Maybe there's a... Oh, yes. The tram card is okay. So let's see. Can she pass? She's not sure if she can do it. Yeah. So that's a zero pointer for the dressing team. Come on, Yana. Maybe in the next discipline, you can score the highest points. She did it. Not sure how many points. I think like 50 points, maybe. Which is okay comparing to the other competitors, to the other competitors, because they didn't manage to get any points in this fifth discipline. 
Whoa. That was a powerful hit. And now they have to go to push the red button. Whoa. Four minutes and 40 minutes and 41 seconds for the Dresden team. Hopefully they will, uh, they will do better in the second run. It's not that easy. It's also their first time competing in this year's competition. And now we move over to the next team from Prague. We have Nicole Pravdova and Daniel Rasplika. They already started. Daniel is the first one to drive the cart. So the emergency emergency stop. Oh I'm not sure if he will get the points. Not sure what happened there. But let's see now with the tramble yard. So that was like between 150 and 200 points. He put out the fire in one leg. <laughs> And now Nicole, she positions the dummy, she signals Daniel, and let's see Daniel now go. They already have one minute passed from their round. Okay, Daniel, can you do it? Can you have a perfect stop? after this dummy. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. So now, now let's see if can Daniel have a perfect stop. So the third double door. Oh. Two hundred points for Prague team. And now let's see the tram bowling. That was a good hit. That was a very good hit actually. Very good hit, very good time. <laughs> very good, Nicole and Daniel. They both have uh, two participations in the past Tram EM, EM events. So they, they have quite the experience. Borada is still in the first place. But maybe that will happen with the next team. The team from Seget. With Gabriela Borchok and uh, Ferenc Vince. So Sega team ready to start their first run. Hello. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Ferenc. So they started the first run. 
with Ferenc being the first driver. Let's see how he will do in the first discipline. It's emergency stop. That's pretty far off. So zero points. Moving on to the tram billiard. Oh, that was a soft, that was a soft touch of a cue, which brings Ferenc 400 elegant points. Oh, don't forget the fire extinguisher. Otherwise, it will be so difficult for you to put out the fire. Very good, Ferenc. The fourth discipline, placing of the dummy. So Gabriela signaled Ferling that he can start. Let's see if he can do it. Yes, he did it. I think they managed to score some points also in the fourth discipline. Now let's see the perfect stop. Third double door is opened and we can see the points. That will be 200 points, I think. Hopefully I'm not mistaken, because of the camera angle. Now let's see Ferenc, can he do a strike? Oh, Ferenc, I'm sorry for you. Yes, press, press, the, <laughs> press the red button. Okay, the time is stopped. Two minutes, 33 seconds. He also got some points from their first round. They're also competing for the first time in this championship. Now we are going to Barcelona. With Alejandro Alferez and Aida Perez. Their first time in uh, this championship. So we can see it now Alejandro Alferez driving. Okay, Alejandro, let's see how many points can you score from the emergency brake discipline. Although he's a tram driver, Alejandro doesn't like the noise of the city. He likes quiet places. That's a hundred, a hundred points, I guess. Pretty close for 150. Come on, Alejandro. The time is still running. Oh, that was a powerful hit. But let's see how many points he can score. So 250 points. He grabs the fire extinguisher, puts out the fire. 
And now at the same time, Aida Perez positions the dummy for the next discipline. Okay, Alejandro is looking for the button, the switch. I think he found it. So no touch of the dummy here. Oh, and also minus 50 points, no, 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 zero points on this uh, fourth discipline. I'm sorry for you, Alejandro. Maybe you can gain up some points. The fifth discipline. With the perfect stop. So this is going to be a surprise for us. And now let's see if he can score some points. It's from bowling. Okay, you have to run now to push the red button. Under three minutes, very good run from Alejandro Alferez, Barcelona. The 10th team on the 10th championship, Warsaw, with Daniel and Agata, Daniel Zelakiewicz and Agata Gumolowska. It's also their first time competing in the Tram EM Championship. Let's see how many points they will manage to score in the first run. So, in the meantime, oh, they already started with Agatha driving in the first round. We can see, we can hear some supporters. Okay, Agatha. Okay, let's see now the first discipline. Emergency stop. She has to break. Very good, 300 points. I'm not sure what happened with the referee over there. Hopefully everything is okay. Because Agatha has to drive in the second discipline. Very good touch. So she gets another 300 points, 350 actually. Got her running to put that fire out. Very good, Agatha. At the same time, Daniel sets up the, the dummy for the fourth, fourth discipline. <laughs> she smiles, so I think she's confident in the next discipline. It's good. She didn't touch the dummy. 
Not sure though how many points. Okay, let's see now. The perfect stop. Not that perfect. Pretty far off. Now the final discipline. Ram bowling. Can Agata do a strike? It's not a strike, but at least she managed to take down a bowling pin. Yeah, press it. Very good. Very good, Agata. Very good run. Let's not forget the championship. It's all about safety and skill while having fun. And I think Agata really had fun this round. So moving on with the Leipzig team. So indeed there was a technical problem. I'm sorry, I can't really understand what he's saying. But I think he was explaining the technical difficulties. We regret this little incident, but uh, hopefully you're not you're not dead, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you, technical team, for uh, raising up the volume. So we move on with thank the you very much. It's good. It's good now. It's perfect. So we move on to the Leipzig team. They hosted the last year's competition. I think they are a little bit nervous and also eager to start. And now we can uh, see the new results with Prague taking over the lead with 1,900 1, points in the second Oradea, 1,880. But let's see now how Leipzig will do. So we have Julia and Olaf. Also their first time when uh, they're competing in the Tram EM Championship. In the first discipline, she didn't manage to get any points, but maybe in the Tram Billiard, she will get some. Oh, that was a perfect straight line. <laughs> 450 points, very good. Very good, Julia. Now she has to put out the fire. Awesome. Olaf Hoffman positioning the dummy. He signaled to Julia that she can drive. Let's see now. Can Julia pass the dummy? Oh, that's good. Yes, she can. But did she manage to get any points? Yes, I think I think she she did. Oh, that's nice. 100 points. 100 points from the fourth discipline. 
and driving to the fifth one. The perfect stop with a third double door. I think it's a little bit far off, but it's no problem because maybe she can have a strike at the tram bowling. Come on, go, Julia. Spit it up. That was very good. That was very good. Now they have to go out and uh, <laughs> push the red button. I think they're they're forgetting that they have to stop the timer. <laughs> and now the team from uh, Stockholm are getting ready with having Lise Fuchs and uh, Frederik Forsberg. First time in the Tram EM Championship. So Stockholm won in 2018 in the Stuttgart competition. So in 2018, we had a record number of 25 teams from 19 European countries. The seventh European Tram Driver Championship. And now we start with the Stockholm team, first round. Lise Fuchs is the first driver. That's a nice funky hair she has there. Oh. I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, so we have to start start over again because I think there was a, like a technical problem. Maybe the cart wasn't set in place, but it's no it's no problem. Okay, let's go Stockholm. Lisa Fuchs. Let's see now with emergency brake, so she has to stop. Yeah, I think she managed to score like 800 points. <laughs> okay, moving on. Second discipline, let's see now how, how she will touch the queue. That was good. That was good. 300, 350 points. Very good. Very good score. Now with the fire extinguisher. This new discipline. Oh, what happened there? What happened there, Liz? It's okay. The fire is out. And we can see Frederick already signaling Liz that the dummy is put in place. Can she do it? Nope. She signals that she will hit the dummy and she was right actually. I think she will get 150 points for that. Now let's see the, the perfect stop. Not sure what happened there, but it's pretty difficult this discipline because the drivers they cannot take a look in the rear mirror. But with the bowling, very good, Lisa. So uh, the points on the bowling pins they will be multiplied with 30 
and add it to the final score. That was a good run from uh, Stockholm, Lisa Fuchs. And Frederick. So these are the results. Prague, Oradia, Debrecen, Seged, and Warsaw. Barcelona on the sixth. Hanover, Dresden, Berlin, and Dublin. So we are already 10 teams in. We still have 15 to go. And now with the Bordeaux team, with Barbara, Barbara Salons and Sebastian Boussoleil. I would like to apologize if I'm mistaking your names. So we can see Barbara now. For the first time in the Tram EM Championship. Come on, Barbara. Yes, yes, go. Perfect. Let's see now with the emergency brake. So she has to speed up to 25 kilometers. And now brake, 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 brake. That was a little bit far off. Unfortunately, zero points. I think Barbara, she's uh, a little bit shy. That was, a, that was a good hit. That was a very, very good hit. 350 points. Very good, Barbara. Now putting out the fire. Now moving on to the second speed card. Sebastian already signals Barbara that she can drive. So the dummy, it's positioned. Come on, Barbara, you can do it. Or can she? Wow, that was super close. That was super close. Very good. 150 points for the Bordeaux team. And now the perfect stop. You will see the double door opening. And the arrow is gone. Let's see now how she will do it on the sixth discipline. Tram bowling. <laughs> A very good hit. Also, I would like to mention that if uh, the tram cart touches the pins, uh, the team will score zero points. Very good, Bordeaux team. A little bit over three minutes. Not so many points in the first round, but maybe in the second round. And now moving over with the Nuremberg team and I would like to give a special shout out for the people that are gathered in the Nuremberg to watch the championship. So can I get a whoop whoop from the people at the museum? I mean, please write it in the commentary section because I cannot hear you. Okay, team Nuremberg. You have your local supporters. 
and uh, Claudia Mayer Weber and Christopher will be the drivers from Team Nuremberg. It's their first time participating in this championship. I think we are getting ready for uh, an interview or not. Christopher and Claudia waiting to press the green button so they can go in their first run. So before they start, I would like to tell you a little bit of the history of the Tram EM. So Tram EM begins in the Saxon state capital. This is how the idea of the competition and disciplines as part of an international family festival came about. On the occasion of the 140th anniversary of the Dresden Tram, Wieland Stumpf and his team developed a concept for a birthday party. Can you imagine that? The aim was to celebrate the international trend of tram driving, the Dresden tram tradition and the customs of a birthday party in a large family celebration. So 17 teams from 10 nations and 30,000 visitors experienced an unforgettable event on September 29th and 30th in 2012. The victory goes to the team from Hungary, Budapest, wins just ahead of Dresden in Brussels. And so that myth was born. Can a host win the European Tram Driver Championship? And as I was saying, in 2019, the Brussels team managed to win. So uh, I think they are the mythbusters in this situation. So the competition started in 2012 and then moved over in Budapest in 2013 with 14 teams from eight nations. France, Paris won the competition and on the second place Budapest. And it has been unclear for a long time whether there will be a sequel to Tram EM, but Budapest with the winning team announced that they wanted to organize a tram EM in November. So 14 teams from eight nations traveled to the Hungarian capital. In rainy and cold autumn weather, the drivers from Paris prevailed. So in 2014, we move over to Barcelona with 17 teams from eight nations. And uh, in 2014, there for the first time, Tram Bowling and uh, the New Cup are presented in the championship. So the New Cup is uh, 3.5 kilograms heavy and 30 centimeters tall trophy. Victor, am să te întrerup puțin pentru că o să încercăm să stăm de vorbă și cu cei din public. So o să fii mirat, însă au venit oameni Bogdan, din București. Our field moderator. Ursă, sunt uh, mai mult uh, băieți care au venit cu trenul până we'll la see how the spectators uh, feels. Also, we have people from Bucharest coming uh, to Oradea. Yes. So they say they uh, came from Bucharest, from our capital city, uh, because they are passionate about the trams and they wanted to see this competition here uh, live. Care ti s-a părut cea mai interesantă probă? Which discipline did you find most interesting? <laughs> yes, bowling. <laughs> Everybody loves tram bowling. Yes, he said that uh, the bowling uh, discipline was the most uh, interesting of all, and it was uh, very interesting to see it live uh, here. Cum cum e infrastructura de tramvai din București? Un pic mai prostă, dar ne descurcăm. Se descurcă, ok. Sperăm că se vor 
se vor uh, inspira uh, cei de la noi uh, din orașele din România, din ceea ce vedem că se întâmplă în orașele Europei. Chiar mă uitam uh, la un moment dat uh, echipa din Leipzig, so, the second care question are was about o rețea de tramvai între din 1890 și care transportă foarte, foarte the mult comparison between Orale and Bucharest? undeva la And uh, that guy said that uh, he likes better the one uh, in uh, Oradea. So we are still waiting for Nuremberg team. Everybody waits for the team, especially the supporters from Nuremberg gathered in the museum. Which is super awesome of you guys to do that. Maybe you can send us a picture of you and uh, the atmosphere that you're having there. That would be awesome. And now we start with uh, Nuremberg, the first run with uh, Christopher being the first driver. So his first participation in this competition. Whoa, very good, very good emergency break. 450 points in the first discipline, very good. So is that a hundred or a hundred and fifty? Moving over the third one. Very good, Christopher. At the same time, we can see Claudia positioning the dummy. She signaled Christopher. Christopher sets the cart in motion. I'm not sure what was that sign, but I think it was an okay sign, as in he can pass the dummy. And yes, he really did pass it up. Oh, unfortunately, zero points. It's okay, Christopher. Moving on with a perfect stop. So very close. Yeah, I think, I think. I think they managed to get a hundred points, which is very good. And now, can Christopher do it? Can he strike? No, but he managed to, to get some points. Wow, with a very good time. Very good time. Congratulations, Nuremberg team. Their first round with Christopher driving. So you can see the score. Prague, Orada and Leipzig. And now moving over to the Göteborg. The team from Göteborg with Robert Johnson and Emily Hallman. So, uh, Robert, it's the second participation in the Tram EM event, but for Emily, it's the first time. But she's driving the, the street car for more than 40, 14 years, so she has some experience. So she had the best score of the female of the females at the local Gothenburg competition. And she's a very very good ambassador for Gothenburg Sparvagar. Emily driving in the first round. 
That's a little bit far off. Well, at least at least she managed to stop the card. But unfortunately, she didn't manage to get any points. And now with the tram billiard, that was that was a very good hit. Nice, 350 points. And now Emily, Emily, I think you have to run because the time itself is running. Yeah, she's calm. We're already one minute and a half in the first, the first run. So Robert, did, I don't, did Robert finish? Yeah, yeah. He finished. Signal to Emily. And now let's see. She really takes her time. Yes. Robert positioned very good, the dummy. But not perfect. Because they scored zero points. Now the perfect stop. Wow. I, th I, I think that's a perfect stop. Almost a perfect stop. 450 points, but comparing to the other's competitors, that's quite perfect. Perfect stop from Emily. And now moving over with a trampoline. Come on, Emily, step on it. Very good. Not sure how many she managed to take down. Oh, under three minutes. Just imagine if Emily would have would have run just a little bit on the course. But it's okay. That was a good uh, that was a good run overall. Now moving uh, moving on with the team from Vienna. We're having Sandra Kaider and uh, Andreas Kainrad. They are also competing for the first time in the Tram EM Championship. And as you can see, Prague, Orada, Leipzig, Nuremberg, Debrecen, Gutenberg, Stockholm, Bordeaux, Seged, Warsaw. Barcelona, Hanover, Dresden, Berlin, and Dublin. So as I was saying, in 2014, we had the Barcelona competition. But now we're, we're going uh, with the Vienna team to see their first run with Andreas driving the, the sweet car. Oh, that, was, that was kind of close. Oh, I don't think, I don't think he managed to hit the queue because he stopped the car. 
So I think this is a zero pointer. I'm not sure to be honest. But we will see on the score result. So Sandra, she's positioning the dummy for Andres. And let's see how many points they can score in this fourth discipline. It's very good. It's very good. Wow, 450 points. Very good, Andreas. Very, very good. And now with the perfect stop. With the third double door. So, zero points here. Maybe the tram bowling will do the trick for Vienna's team. Oh, very good, Andreas. Very good, Andreas. Oh, <laughs> so close. <laughs> Wow, so the time is pretty good. Very good, Andreas. Very good run. Now the sweet card is set into position for the next team. And the next team is from Florence. In, uh, in Italy, we're having Andrea Ceccarelli and uh, Stefani Attendi. I think they're, yeah, they're also the first time. They're also participating in this competition. Yes, Florence team. Waiting to push the green button to start their first round. Okay, and we're having uh, Stefania Tendi driving the the street car into the first discipline. Oh. She braked a little bit sooner. Now let's see, maybe she can manage to score some good points in the tram billard. Oh no! She also stopped a little bit too early. And that was a really, really soft touch. So exactly, like the team from Vienna. The Florence team didn't manage to score any points on the second discipline. But on the third discipline, the maximum points are scored. And now Andrea Ciccarelli. He's positioning the dummy for uh, Stefania Tendi. Everything is set into place. And Stefania already signaled that she cannot pass next to the dummy. And now let's see if, if she was right. I think she will get 150 points. Yeah, she was right. Very good, Stefania. And now with the perfect stop. Having no rear mirrors or cameras to see. She 
she really needs that skill. <laughs> nope. Zero points. But maybe we will see a strike in the tram bowling discipline. Can she do it? Can she do it? Oh, I think she... Oh. <laughs> yeah, she, she stopped the car. A little bit uh, too early. I think it's from uh, their skill, because they're not used to hit things with the tram cart. When they see an obstacle on the tram rail, they really have to stop. So I think their, their brain are trying to override that information. <laughs> Now we can see the new scoreboard with uh, Vien in the first place, second Prague and third Oradea. And now moving on with the team from Brussels. And uh, if you can, if you can remember, the team from Brussels, they are the Mythbusters. And what a surprise for Romania also, because um, the team from Brussels, they have a, a team member from Romania, actually. It's, uh, I'm talking about Gabriela Akatrine. She's from Romania, but competing for Brussels. And, okay, uh, uh, continuăm uh, acest concurs, însă facem o mică pauză pentru că avem o nouă, now nou we're leader go. Este echipa and our field Indiana, moderator. Mine. We have here the new leaders of this uh, year's uh, competition. So, how do you feel? Great, great, absolutely great. Yes. How was the run? Fine. My colleague is a very good driver. And listen to me. Yeah, Ziviki. He says stop and he stops. You, you always have to listen to a woman, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, and you, how do you feel? Maybe a few words? Everything okay? Okay. Okay, congratulations. So, avem aici să vă aplaudăm pe cei care sunt pe locul întâi în acest moment. Însă ne pregătim și pentru următorul moment. Este echipa din Pustel care se pregătește să pregătească în concurs. Uh, nervous? A little. <laughs> uh, sunt puțin uh, stresată pentru că originele sunt aici, dar o să facem uh, ce putem mai bine. Ea o să Gabriela, și este un pic nervos. Este o româncă uh, care va concura pentru echipa din Belgia, pentru echipa din Pustel. Le urăm uh, succes uh, celor doi. Să vedem ce va ieși uh, din această cursă. Good luck, Brussels Brussel team. Viv Pustel. Thanks so. And Viv Oradea, please. All right, you ready? Christoph, Barbarat, and Gabriela Akatrine. Yes, and they uh, start their first run with Gabriela driving into the first discipline. We can see she is really nervous from the way she bites her lip. Very good, Gabriela. You just scored 150 points. Now let's see with the second discipline, Tram Billiard. Because I don't know what happened in the last two, two rounds, but they stopped earlier. That was, that was kind of like a soft touch. So plus 50 points, and now Gabriela speeds into their discipline, the safety discipline. She managed to put out the fire. At the same time, Christoph positioning the dummy. And now he signaled to Gabriela. 
She's very focused on this next discipline. Ah, oh. a little bit far off. But maybe she will manage to get some points in this perfect stop discipline. Uh, I, I don't think. Nope. Pretty far off. Come on, Gabriela. We still have time to win some points. With the trembling and. Very, oh! <laughs> That's <a> so zero <laughs> I'm sorry, Gabriel, I did not see that coming. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a strike, but. <laughs> so they have a good time. Two minutes and uh, 19 seconds. Not sure about the points, but we will uh, see later on. So the team from Brussels with Gabriela and Christoph finish their round. And now moving on with the Kosice team with Martina and Stefan. Martina Husvikova and uh, Stefan Mruz. I think we will need some time now to set the track in place. And I was, I was saying about uh, the Tram EM history. We were in 2014. And from 2014 onwards, the Tramium project is gaining momentum. At the beginning of the year, Barcelona expressed interest in hosting in November 2014 the third edition of Tram EM. And the edition itself should crown the 10th anniversary of Tram Barcelona. So for the first time in uh, Tram EM history, the baton will be handed over to the organizer in the following year. Excuse me, please stop talking because we are live. No, akumai, akumai kus. So we can see Martina now from Kosice. So, uh, very good stuff from Martina. Very good, Martina, in the first uh, discipline. Oh, uh, 50 points, but at least they gained 50 points. Now Martina speeds up to put that fire out. Very good. Whoa, extra. <laughs> Very good, Martina. And now let's see Stefan. Oh, he will position the dummy for Martina. They are already one minute in. Yeah, she has a positive vibe. And I, I think she signaled that she cannot pass the dummy. We have to see that. It's pretty close, but I think further on she will touch or no, she didn't touch it. So I'm not quite sure what happened. If she really did signal that 
she cannot pass the dummy or she just took her time to have a better look. Uh, where's the red arrow? Sorry, Martina. <laughs> But uh, moving on. Six discipline, trembling. Can she strike? No, but she managed to get some points. Also, good time. Very good. Very good, Martina. Very good, Stefan. Very good, Kosice. Now moving over to Team Vassal. With Asli Pamuk and Erkan Pamuk. I'm not sure, but I think they are family. Because they have the same first name. Pentru că au fost câteva întrebări pe Facebook și pe YouTube legate de felul în care se jurizează acest concurs, am să vă explic un pic ce se întâmplă aici. Practic, tramvaiele care vin din acea parte trebuie să atingă o viteză de minimum 25 de km. So Bogdan is explaining now. Sub această viteză e o problemă. Actually, he's answering a few questions that we trebuie să oprească. We get on, uh, on the live stream. Pe acel semafor aflat în spatele meu. So it's about the first discipline. În funcție de locul în care opresc aici, vedeți puntajul. Stuck in about the first discipline with the emergency break. Când practic este testat viteza de reacție a batmanilor, cu atât mai multe puncte vor primi. După care, bineînțeles, urmează so the driver has, has to speed up to 25 kilometers, and when the traffic light turns red, the driver has to initiate the emergency brake. The referee will measure the reaction time and gives points according to the stop. So coming, coming back to the Basel team with Asli and Erkan Pamuk. It's also their first time competing in Tramiem, European Tram Driver Championship. The bowling pins are still to be set in place. So I think we're okay with that. Yeah, because they started. And we can see now Asli starting the first round, driving into the first discipline, speeding up to 25 kilometers. And when the traffic turns, uh, traffic light turns red, she has to stop with emergency brake. She didn't get any points on the first discipline, but the tram billiard. Come on, Asli, come on, Asli, you can... Wow, that was a soft touch. 400 points for Basel team. Very good. Okay, Asli, you have to hurry up. Put that fire out. It's a fire hazard over there. Very good. Very good, Asli. So Ergon positions the dummy. I think he already, yeah, yeah, he signaled. He signaled Asli. Oh, I think, I think Asli, it's her brother. They're not uh, married. Oh, I apologize for that, Team Bessel. I'm not sure if they get any points from this discipline because it's pretty far off. And now with a perfect stop, the third double door. So I, th I think that's a 50 pointer for Bessel team. <laughs> Let's see now the tram bowling. 
Ah, almost. Almost. Unfortunately, zero points. Very good Basel team. They have a very good time with uh, just two minutes and nine seconds. So we are we are already 20 teams in. So we can see now Vienna, Prague, Oradia, Leipzig, Nuremberg, Debrecen, Gothenburg, Basel, Stockholm, Bordeaux, and the tenth position: Seged, Warsaw, Barcelona. Kosice, Hanover, the next five teams, Brussels, Florence, Dresden, and Berlin. And in the last position, for now, is Dublin. Moving over to Malaga team. So uh, we have Alicia Dominguez Molina or better yet Aldi, Alicia Juan and Juan Antonio Ortega de Lara. Malaga. It's also their first time when they're participating in Tramium Championship. And uh, we can see now Alicia breaking too early or too perfect because I didn't see the traffic light the red traffic light I think she's a little bit disappointed on uh, that uh, emergency brake but you have plenty of time to grab some more points oh unfortunately unfortunately zero points zero puncte zero pentru ca atins tripodul n-are voie să atingă so that's a zero pointer because uh, she touched the tripod with the tram card and uh, that's not okay. But she managed to put out the fire. So she scored some points from that discipline. Come on, Alicia, you can do it. We still have two more disciplines. And now Juan signals Alicia that she can uh, drive. But the question is, does she can pass? Can, can she pass the dummy or not? Oh, yes, she passed the dummy. And no points here, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Alicia. Maybe uh, at the tram bowling. You managed to get some points. Oh, this is a nice surprise. She managed to get 250 points for uh, from the perfect stop. And now let's see the favorite discipline, the trembling. I think the ball went off. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit windy now. Unfortunately for them. A wind. Yes, unfortunately because of the wind, the ball went to the right. Victor, we have a question on the online channel related to what happens at the moment when the train goes through these pockets, what has happened in the case of the team from Ethiopia. So there's another question being answered from Bogdan. So if the tram card hits a bowling pin, uh, they will not break, so don't worry. Don't worry, guys. 
it's, uh, it's everything okay. Now, moving uh, over to the Kiev team. We're having uh, Oksana Lyakuta and Irina Zaritska. Their first time participating also in this competition. They get a really loud cheer. And we can see now Oksana. Driving into the first discipline. Wow. I, I'm not sure what's happening. So, I'm not sure what's happening now. Did, did she get those 500 points? I guess we will see later. And now with the tram billiard, that was a strong hit. So maybe one. Oh! <laughs> I did not see that coming, so I think it's a zero pointer. Because the ball went to the pocket. Yeah. Our uh, field moderator, Bogdan, said that he would have scored 500 points <laughs> if, he, if he were a jury, <laughs> a referee, sorry. <laughs> so let's see now with the, with the dummy discipline. Yeah, so zero points because Oksana touched the dummy. And now the perfect stop. Okay, Oksana. Don't forget that the time is running. Victor, you know that the a premier system has not happened at all that Bila de Villiers has entered. So we have a small challenge of technical to see how many points they will get from the two competitors from Kiev for this success. As I said, it is in premier. Oh, okay. So, in the second discipline, with the tram billiard. Actually, I was saying, I was saying that uh, Oksana didn't score any points, zero points, because the ball went into the pocket. But they're actually discussing about it because it's the first time when a driver managed, managed to put the ball into a pocket. So they are discussing, uh, the referees are discussing over it to see how many points will they give to Oksana. And now, the tram bowling. I think, I think she managed to, to take a bowling pin down. Three and a half, three and a half minutes. Moving over now with the Oslo team. And um, we have Robert Anderson and uh, Amalie Nordli for the Oslo team. No, actually, sorry. Actually, it's Rotterdam. 
which is the winning team from 2015 at the Vienna competition where 23 teams competed for the first prize. Now we go back on the field with Bogdan. That was Brenda Kluin for you guys from the Rotterdam team, her first time participating in the EM competition. So they already won the competition in 2015. But I'll tell you more about that later on because now I think they will uh, they will start. We can see the referee. Yes. Brenda will drive first the tram cart. Brenda Kluin with uh, Rahu. Shanderban Bagoev. First discipline. Very good. She managed to get 100 points after accelerating to 25 kilometers per hour and stopping at the red traffic light. Okay, Brenda, you can uh, now drive to the second one, the tram billiard. Oh, that was a very soft touch. And we have our first 500 points. Very good, Brenda. Speeding up to the third discipline. But she has to put that fire out. Very good, Brenda. Yes, give it some more. It's okay. <laughs> we can see now uh, Raju, Rahu. Uh, I, think, I think it's Raju. Yeah, he's signaling uh, Brenda to drive. That was, that was that was a touch. It wasn't a slight touch. It was quite visible. Now we're moving on to the perfect stop. Everybody's waiting to see the red arrow, which is far off. And now the tram bowling. Oh, very good. Very good. Because at the end of it, the numbers on the bowling pins are multiplied with, with 30. Very good run from the uh, Rotterdam team. Two and a half minutes, which is kind of like a general time at this point. We have two more teams left. The team from Oslo and team from uh, Zagreb. And after that, we will have a short break and we will start our uh, second run in reversed order with the with the second tram driver. So from Oslo team, we ha we're having Emily Nordley and Robert Anderson. And as I was saying in uh, 2015 from Vienna competition, for the first time, the competition was broadcasted live on the internet. And now, moving on with uh, Emily Nordley.
first time participating, also Robert. So she has to speed up to 25 kilometers, and when the red traffic light appears, she has to use the emergency brake to stop the train cart. And maybe she can score some points. Oh, that was, that was a little bit too fast. Which is awkward because a professional tram driver has to be able to stop the, the cart, the tram cart, pretty fast. If they see something wrong on the tram rail. Well, that was that was a bit of luck for Emily. And now she has to put out that fire. She managed to do that. And there are Robert positions the dummy, signals and Emily. She drives. Wow, that was that was that was quite good. <laughs> so that was a no-pointer for uh, Oslo team. Let's see now. Emily stopping for the perfect stop. Very good. 300, 300 points. And if you can recall, not many drivers stopped the cart, managed to stop the cart. And so, fifth discipline, now going to tram bowling. Ah, oh, that was so close. And now, heading over to the red button. Very good, Oslo team. They managed to get gain some points. And now the last team from Zagreb. We're having Liliana Pezzo Rogic and Dominic Jurcevic. Also, it's their first time competing in a Tram EM Championship. A lot of new players, drivers, in the Tram EM Championship. So we can see Vien still on the lead with 1,920 points. Second place is Prague, 1,900, and uh, Oradia on the third place with 1,880 points. It's not a big point difference between the, the team. And now we go over to Zagreb. You can see Dominic driving his first run. And now speeds up to 25 kilometers per hour. And emergency brake. Oh, that was... Oh, very good. Very good. Not 450 points. Very good. Very good. Now, let's see Dominic. How will hit the cue? Wow, that was so soft. Oh, very good, Dominic. I, I almost shouted. <laughs> I almost shouted. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was very good. Very good, Dominic. And he's still under a minute preparing for uh, the fourth discipline. You can see now uh, Liliana positioning the dummy. Come on, Liliana. Yes. Signaling to Dominic. 
I still have a very good time. I wonder if they can do it under two minutes. Come on, Dominic. That's far off. That, I mean, that's super far off. Not sure if they gained any points on uh, in this discipline. Oh, what a surprise. Nice. 100 points. So they managed to score points in every at every discipline. But what about the hardest one of all? The perfect stop. That, whoa! Very good, Dominic! That's a perfect stop with 500 points. So, yeah, they, uh, they're, uh, they are in good points. Oh, no, not the boiling, not the bowling. But still, they are uh, under two and a half minutes. Wow. Very good run from Zagreb, Dominik Jurcevic. So we can see now they took the place, the first place with 2,450 points. The new, the new board leaders from Zagreb. Very good run, Dominic. Very good run. Very good run. So the first run is finished. And the team that has the lowest score will start the second run. Reversed order of the ranking. And um, in this uh, second run, we will see the other team member driving. Well, that can happen, so stick around to see the outcome of the second run. We will have a break now, and we will be back at uh, after, after an hour at 2, at 2 p.m. That was that was an awesome drive from uh, Zagreb, Dominik Jurcevic. So if you if you have any more questions, please feel free to to write in the commentary section. And now we can see on the first place Zagreb, second Vienna, third Prague, fourth Oradea, fifth Leipzig in the first run. There's quite a difference between uh, Zagreb's points and uh, Vienna's points. And uh, Nuremberg, Debrecen, Gothenburg, Rotterdam and Antent place its Oslo at the moment. And now, Basel, also on the 10th place, Stockholm, Bordeaux, Seged, Kiev. Moving over on the 15th place with Warsaw, Barcelona, Kusice, Dresden, Hanover, and Brussels. <laughs> Berlin, Dublin, and Malaga. This is the first uh, run, first round. So we'll see you guys in a bit, actually in one hour. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to share and uh, let your friends also know about this competition. Maybe they can uh, also join us on YouTube or uh, Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube's channel and hit that bell notification uh, button so you will be able to see whatever comes your way.
Bine, v-am regăsit la ora de a, le spunem atât de celor care sunt aici prezenți pe traseu, dar și celor care ne urmăresc online. Urmează partea a doua acestui, acestui concurs atât de palpitant, care a reunit la start 25 de echipe. Pem cu echipa cel mai slab clasată după prima rundă, este vorba despre Malaga. În acest moment, clasamentul este condus de Zagreb, echipa care a început ultima, va rămâne ultima și în această rundă pentru că are cel mai mare puntaj urmat de Viena. Ok, so uh, we are back with the second run. And uh, as I was saying in the first round, the team that has the lowest score will start the second run. Reversed order of the ranking. So now we are, we'll start with Malaga. With Juan Antonio Ortega de Lara, and after that, Dublin, Berlin, Florence, but we'll get uh, into that also. Right, everything is set up. And we can see on the First place Zagreb with 2,450 points. Let's see if Malaga can uh, beat Zagreb. Juan Antonio Ortega de Lara is the driver. His first run. First time competing. And uh, at the tram billiard, manages to score 350 points, rushing into the third discipline, the hot discipline. We got the fire, very good, very good, Antonio. Now at the same time, Alicia, she's setting up the dummy for Juan Antonio, signaling him that he can start. Let's see if he can grab some points from this lateral distance. Okay, Juan, don't forget that the time is running. Apparently, he's having some technical problems. And now he has some help. Oh, this is not good for the team from Malaga. Hopefully there are no major problems with the tram card. Already two and a half minutes have passed. And Juan it's still not moving. Not sure what's happening there. We are already three minutes in. Hopefully soon enough, they'll get the tram card starting. So because of these technical difficulties, we will repeat the run. 
which is uh, fair enough for the team from Malaga. So now Juan gets a yeah, so there was a technical problem with the tram card. So as I was saying in the first run, just a little bit uh, of uh, tram EM history. Of the 2015 competition from Vienna, we we'll move on to 2016. Technical problem. What exactly happened? Înțeleg că s-a blocat tracțiunea și a trebuit resetat, astfel că întreaga probă va fi uh, reluată cât la acest time. So that was the technical problem. The traction was stuck. Okay, so we are back with Team Malaga. Juan Antonio Ortega de Lara. He has to speed up the tram cart to 25 kilometers. And when the red traffic light appears, he has to use the emergency brakes. Let's see how many points he can get. That was close, but not close enough. So this is the first discipline. Moving on into the second discipline, tram billiard. Come on, Antonio, you can do it. He goes slowly to the queue. That was a good hit. Managed to score 150 points. Rushing over to the, to the third discipline, where he has to put that fire out with the fire extinguisher. Still on the run for the fourth discipline, where he has to pass next to the dummy. Hopefully, he will manage to score some points. Okay, Antonio, it looks good, it looks good. It was close. No, let's see the referee. Oh, very good. 200 points for Malaga. Scored by Antonio. And now moving over to the fifth discipline. The perfect stop. With a third double door. Facing the red arrow. That will be the most... Uh, High points will be received if he manages to make a perfect stop, which is 500 points. If not, you can see the rest of the points. And I think he got just 50. And now for tram bowling. Oh, very good hit. Ah, oh, no. The thing is that if the tram card hits the bowling pins, the score is zero. Oh, they kind of stopped to celebrate and they forgot to stop the, to push the red button. So the time is stuck. Din păcate nu vor primi puncte la Popice din cauza că le-au atins cu tramvaiul. Trebuia o să le atingă doar cu acea pilă uriașă. Yeah, also our field moderator Bogdan said that they will not receive any points from the tram bowling because they touched the pins with the tram cart. 
So that was it for Malaga. Now moving over to Dublin with Ian Collins. So Ian Collins for Dublin team. It's his first time participating in the Tram EM Championship. He likes to run, to run, to swim, to play uh, football and also soccer. Victor, dacă tot am avut această pauză, să spunem că înainte am avut o mică problemă cu un tramvai Zimmers care însă funcționează impecabil de 15 ani în Oradea. So until the team is ready, I can uh, fill you in with some more history. So we were in uh, 2016, Berlin competition, 27 teams, 17 European countries. And the winner was uh, Hungary, Budapest. So uh, this set a new record for participants. And uh, also new for the Tramium Championship from 2016, fan buses um, brought fans from Dresden, Vienna, Budapest and Zurich to Berlin, in addition to the live stream on the internet. And uh, we're going back to the Dublin team now. I'll fill you in later with some more of the Tram EM history. Wow, very good Dublin. So 500 points in the first discipline. Very good Ian, Ian Collins, Tram Billiard. Wow, that was a very good. Yes, very good Ian Collins, manage. Manages to score 500 points. Also here, full points. He's getting ready for the fourth challenge with the dummy. He got the signal. Now he's on the roll and let's see how many points will he score. Oh, uh, just a slight touch. So uh, that's a zero pointer over there. But it's okay, Ian. You can uh, recuperate from the next one. I would like to inform you that the windy situation here in Uradia. That's that's a uh, 50 points right there. So it's a, it's a windy situation here in Radia. I don't think it will be very good for uh, the tram bowling. Now we can see Ian hitting the ball. Oh, oh yes! And we have the first strike, tram bowling. <laughs> very good, Ian Collins. Now we have to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and check out the time. Only two minutes and 11 seconds. Very good so run. So far, you are the bowling experts here. Oh, yeah, we go with it anyway. <laughs> How was it to make up so much ground? <laughs> I hope you did uh, our team well, happy. I'm Dublin proud. Go Dublin. Thank you very much. Very good Dublin with Ian Collins. Very good run. I'm very curious about the points and the boiling, bowling, because um, all the numbers from the ball pins, they will be added and after that multiplied by 30. And now the street cards are set into place, also the bowling pins. So as I was saying, 
the history in 2016. Never before has there been uh, so much attention and press at the uh, Tramia, and never before so many spectators, 18,000. And in the end, Estermuli and Antal Harsani from Budapest won the championship of the fifth Tram EM in Berlin. In the second place was Kirsten Werner and Helmut Nietzsche, the team from Leipzig. And on the third place, the team from Lyon. At the end, BVG Tram director Klaus Dietrich Matske hands over the baton to Andreas Munoz de Dios, managing director of the Metropolitano de Tenerife. So in 2017, we go to Tenerife competition with 46 strand drivers, 23 teams. And the first time when are awarded separate prizes. Europe best female trend driver goes to Franka Sontag from Berlin. And the best European male trend driver goes to Karim Onouche from Paris. So the European family of trend drivers is visiting Metro Tenerife on June 4th, 2017, to celebrate together the 10th anniversary of the reopening of the local tram network. But now coming, coming back to the Berlin. Let's see Silvio Arndt. Taking his turn now. Still waiting on. Oh, we have some ball pins that are still down because of the wind. I'm so sorry for the competitors because of this weather situation. But it is what it is, and they will try to do their best. And as I was saying, from 2017, the winner from 2017 is Paris. And uh, in the end, the baton for hosting the Tram EM 2018 goes to Stuttgart. Okay, so now coming back 2023 with Berlin, the tram driver Silvio Arndt. A very good start. In 10 seconds, he managed to put the tram in motion. He managed to score some points, 150. And now, heading into the, to the second discipline, the tram billiard. It's going soft on the queue. I think it was a little bit too soft, but he managed to, to grab 200 points from tram billiard. And now, he has to put that fire out. Very good, very precise Silvio. For discipline, he gets the signal. And hopefully the tram will start. It's a Siemens card, from what I've heard. Come on, Silvio, you can do it. We can see the tension in his face. I mean, guys, it's uh, a championship, European championship. So it's kind of normal. Wow, 300 points. Very good. Very good. Now the perfect stop. Let's see if Silvio can manage to add some points for the Berlin team. Nope. Quite far off. 
Yeah, unfortunately, he didn't manage to get any points. But we still have the trample link. Or maybe he will uh, score a second strike. Wow, that was that was very good. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That six-pointer on that bowling pin would have made quite a difference on the score. So under three minutes, the team from Berlin finishes with Silvio Arndt driving the street car. Now moving over to Florence, Italy, with Andrea Ceccarelli. Also, our film moderator, Bogdan, was saying, <laughs> saying that uh, the windy situation is not very helpful for the trembling discipline. So now the Florence team are getting ready with Andrea Ciccarelli driving the street car and uh, Stefania Tendi helping in the vault, assisting Andrea Ciccarelli for Florence, Italy. First time in uh, this championship. So he speeds up and stops a little bit too late to get any points. There's no problem. It's a very fancy neck scarf. Love the colors. Come on, Andrea, just a little bit. Whoa, that was a soft touch. I think that was the softest touch. He managed to get some points. And now he will uh, put that fire out. Very good, Andrea. Hop, hop. Yep, you have to take that street card. And uh, Stefania signals him that the dummy is in place and he can uh, drive the street cart. I'm glad that the street cart is functional. It's not that fun when uh, we're having these technical problems. So Andrea, he's taking his time with this dummy challenge, but... I think I think the dummy was moved by the referee because he would have hit it. So let's see now, Andrea. How will uh, he do it in the fifth discipline with a perfect stop? So the third double door has to be stopped in this area for the driver to get any points, but. Is, is this a perfect stop? Oh! But very good, Andrea. Congratulations. Because not many drivers could have done that. And now, trampling, ladies and gentlemen. Just one pin multiplied by 30. Good points. Under three minutes. Very good, Florence. Andrea Ciccarelli. Congratulations. And Stefania Tendi. Congratulations. How was this for you? Very good. 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 But they are happy, they had fun, they managed to finish. Also the second run. Okay. They got some points. And now, moving on to Brussels with Christoph 
Barbara. His first time participating in this competition. His team member is Gabriela Catrine. She's from Romania, but competing for Brussels. So Brussels are uh, the meat busters because they managed to win the competition held in Brussels. And now we start a second run for Brussels team with Christoph Barbarat. He had a good start. Now let's see with the emerging stop. Oh, I think that's a 400 points right there. Oh, 450. Very good, Christoph. Very good, Christoph. Very good. Now moving on to Tram Billiard. Can he manage to get also 450 from this discipline? Just a little bit a hard touch, but he managed to get some points. Now rushing to put that fire out, but a good Christoph. That was very fast. We can see Gabriela setting up the dummy for Christoph. Okay. Go, Christoph. That was good. That was very good. He also managed to get 200 points. Very good, Christoph Barber. No, no. Perfect stop. Can he do it? Can he manage to get some points? Yes, he can. A hundred points for Brussels team. And now for the sixth discipline, tram bowling. Very nice. Very good. So he managed to get 150 points, tram bowling. Two and a half minutes. Very good run from Brussels. Congratulations, Christoph Barbat and Gabriela Catrine. You had a good run. So you can see now the scoreboard with Dublin on the first place. Berlin on second. Uh, actually, Brussels, sorry. And Berlin on third. So it's already started. <laughs> it's a competition for the first place. Because now the winning team, they are able to sit on the, the winning spot. Moving over to Hanover team with Jessica Schluter driving the tram cart. So the Hanover team are the winners of last year's competition. It was uh, held in uh, Leipzig and now it pushed the green button and we can see Jessica Schluter driving. Very good start. Now with the emergency brake after spinning up the car. It's good, it's good. They managed to get 100 points. Okay, Jessica, let's see how many points 
can manage to get from... Oh! What? Was that zero points? I think... I think that was zero points because she didn't manage to touch the Q. Now we can uh, see Andreas Brooks setting up the dummy for Jessica. Signaling her that she can uh, drive. They moved really, really good on this uh, discipline. Yeah, the referee had to move the dummy because it was too close. So zero points also from uh, this discipline. I'm curious now uh, if she will uh, be able to stop the tram card and to get some points with the perfect stop. Wow, very good. Very good, Jessica. Congratulations. 350 points. Wow. And now tram bowling. Ah, oh, she slowed down. Mm. So unfortunately, on, on this round, Jessica didn't manage to score in three disciplines, but scored in the other three disciplines. I'm curious how uh, it will uh, look on the scoreboard. But they are still smiling, so I'm guessing they're having fun. So for now, Hanover is on the third place with 200, uh, 2,690 points. We have Dublin, Brussels, Hanover, Berlin and Zagreb. A lot can happen, so stick around. Now we're going to Kusice with Stefan Mruz. In reverse order. He already started. Very good, very good. 350 points. Very good from Kosice. Nick Nick. <laughs> Wow, that was a nice soft touch from uh, Kosice, 450 points. Now moving on to the third discipline, we got the fire. Very good, he's on the run. Yes, Martina setting up the dummy for Stefan. They are already a minute in. Ah, he slightly touched the dummy. He slightly touched the dummy. Unfortunately, zero points. If he would have stopped the the tram card and signal that he cannot pass, he would have gathered some some points. And the perfect stop isn't that perfect, unfortunately. So let's see now the tram bowling. Okay, don't forget that the time is still running, Stefan. And you still have to get out of the tram car to push the, the button. Very good. He managed to take out a bowling pin. And they're on the... Oh, yes, very good time. Very good time. Not sure about uh, the points, though. But I can see 
the team they are they are really a team very good Kosice very good run now we're going uh, to Dresden team. As you can see, Dublin is still in the first place. They're, they're happy. <laughs> enjoy it, enjoy it while we can. Because there are still more teams to go. We are only seven teams in. And Dresden started their second run with uh, Marcel Hoffmann. It's a good start. Oh. So that was that was zero points for a dressing team. Let's see now the Tram Billiard, how many points can he score? Oh, actually, that's a good one. Very good. I'm not sure if it's 300 or 350. But uh, we can see Marcel rushing to put that fire out. Now he waits the signal from uh, Jana Wendler. Okay, Jana signaled Marcel. Now Marcel. Can he manage to score some points for the dressing team? Come on, Marcel. The time is still running. I thought uh, we had uh, another technical problem, but fortunately that wasn't the case. Is he going to signal that he cannot pass or is he going to do it? Very good. Very good, Marcel. Okay, this is a... Oh! Zero points, unfortunately. Let's see now with the perfect stop. The red arrow is not there. So that's zero points for the dressing team in the second round. And now tram bowling. Wow. What? No? Seriously? It's a oh no no no. <laughs> I thought the bowling pin <laughs> went back up. <laughs> Very good run. In three minutes. Not sure about the points yet, but uh, we will uh, see the points on the scoreboard. And uh, Barcelona is getting ready for the second run with Aida Perez. Victor, we have here a Polonia, the tiner who has come to sustain we have a big team from a supporter team from Poland that came to support the team. We having uh, our moderator Bogdan taking a small interview. What does it say? It says. Proud and honor, uh, faithful brothers of Warsaw Trucks. 
Ați înțeles, e vorba de echipa Varșoviei pe care tinerii au venit să o susțină. How do you like it so far? Uh, we enjoy so much. It's our first time here and we came straight from Warsaw, like 24 hours of trip. So wow. It's totally worth it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we wish luck for everybody, especially for Poland and Ukraine. Slava Ukraini! Very nice, very nice from you. Really glad that you came, guys, and you are enjoying this event. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so Barcelona with Aida Perez for the second round. Let's see how they uh, they will do it. So Aida has to speed up to 25 kilometers. And when the red light turns on, she has to stop. Oh, that's a very nice stop. But I'm not sure what the referee... I'm not sure what happened there, but I think she didn't score any points. Maybe because she didn't... She didn't speed up to 25? Mm. Whoa. 150 points from Tran Billiard. And Aida now has to speed up to... Put that fire out. Very good idea. Now we can see Alejandro setting up the dummy. Aida's waiting for the signal. Oh, here it goes, the signal. Come on, Aida. You can do it. Come on, Aida. Whoa, that was close. But now she has to stop. Just a little bit further. Now the referee with the scoring board. Yep, 50 points. 50 points. And that was a perfect stop. We cannot see the red arrow yet. Oh, it's good, very good. 250 points. Yes, it's very good for Barcelona. It's very good. As long as uh, it's above uh, 100, those are good points. So we have the number, the number three. Very good time, two and a half minutes. They managed to get some points. And uh, we will see now the final results. So you can see Dublin still on the first place with Kosic on the second, Brussels also on the second. I think Dublin, uh, they are really, really nervous. But they are enjoying uh, their moment their moments on the winners bench so you can see this is piazza uneri from moradia a beautiful city to visit so we're going uh, on the field with bogdan do you hope that this uh, ranking would be the final ranking? Uh, <laughs> Cu siguranță va rămâne acest pasament până la final. Vom vedea, mai sunt încă câțiva comisitori foarte valoroși care vor intra la start. Thank you. Yep, that's right.
So now we go on to Kiev with Oksana Liakhuta. She's ready to start the second run. Yes, she pushes the button. Come on, Oksana, you can do it. Oh, no. The majority of drivers uh, managed to put a tram cart in motion somewhere between 10 and 12 seconds. But Oksana, it took her like 20 plus seconds to get the tram cart moving. But regarding that situation, she managed to get 300 points, which is perfect. Plus 200 points. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> Just the 300 points. <laughs> now moving on to Tran Billiard. Very good hit. Very good hit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Oksana, nice, very good, very good Oksana. Come on, Oksana, you can do it. I think she waited for the signal. You can feel the, the tension that she's in now. Very good, Oksana. Oh, wait, she stopped. But I don't know if she signaled that she cannot pass the dummy. Or are we having a little technical situation? Or just wait a little bit more to see what happens. Let's not forget that the time is still running. And this is not good for the Kiev team. So yeah, I think we're having another technical problem with this Siemens tram card. to start a card. But this is a zero pointer because Oksana touched the dummy. Would have been better for her to signal that she cannot pass. Anyhow, moving on to the fifth discipline, the perfect stop, where she has to stop the tram card with the third double door. With the arrow facing the other arrow, that would be a perfect situation. But in this case, zero points for Kiev. Now with the tram bowling. Oh no. Yeah, that was just a bad weather situation, windy situation. So. Three minutes and 41 seconds, that's quite high because of that technical problem. She's not too happy, Oksana, about this run. So we're moving on to Warsaw with Daniel Zelakiewicz. You can see the, the result, Dublin, Kosice, Brussels, the first three places. Berlin, Zagreb, Malaga, Florence and Kiev, sixth and tenth. So we're going now to Warsaw. 
Uj, Daniel Zelakijevic. First time when he's competing. He also started. Very good, Daniel. Oh, he managed to start the card in uh, seven seconds. 25 kilometers. Now the red light has to appear. Oh, unfortunately, he stopped a little bit too late. And also at the turn billiard, he manages to get 100 points, which is good. And now Daniel spinning up to put that fire out. Keeps on running. So we can hear the spectators cheering up for Warsaw, which is nice. Maybe this will give them a little boost. I'm not sure if he signaled. I don't think he signaled, so that will be a zero pointer for uh, Daniel. Now the perfect stop. Oh, very good, Daniel. I want to remind you guys that. The drivers in this discipline, they are not allowed to use the camera or uh, the rear uh, mirror. And bowling, trembling, oh, unfortunately zero points because he touched the bowling pins with the tram card. And the time, two minutes, very good time. This is a very, very good time for the war show. So we are already 11 uh, teams in. Moving on to the 12th team from uh, Zeket with Gabriela Borchok. So Dublin is still on the first place. <laughs> that big uh, smile, nervous smile, I think, because they're quite on the edge. We also know it, and uh, yeah. Okay, Zeget team now. I think uh, everything is set in place, and yes, they pushed the green button and now we can see Gabriela Borchok driving in the second round for second team. Speeding up to 25 kilometers and now let's see the emergency brake. Okay, that's good. It's 100 points for second team. Now moving on to Tram Billiard. Let's see how Gabriela will uh, hit the queue. Very soft and very good. Very good, Gabriela. Nice. 450 points. Now she will uh, put out that fire. She gets the signal that she can uh, drive into the fourth discipline. Come on, Gabriela. Come on, Gabriela. You have a good time. Very good, Gabriela. Let's see how many points can she score. No, I think I think she signaled that she cannot drive, and now she has to drive to see. Yep. So I think they get they get some points. No, 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 no,
mura de atât, că a făcut semn că nu poate să stă 50 de puncte pe copilul ăștia. So I think she gets 150 points because she signaled that she cannot uh, pass next to the dummy. Uh, I don't think she scored any points here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's way off. It's way, way off. And now, tram bowling discipline. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> You also seen that that because of the wind, the ball wanted to roll over. Very good team. They also added some extra points to the final score. They had fun. Double is still in the first place. And we're gonna move on to Bordeaux team, Sebastian Bossolein. He will drive the tram card. So let's see how the Bordeaux team will uh, do their run. Okay, so we started the second run for the uh, Bordeaux team with Sebastian Bustole. Okay, Sebastian. He's only 27 years old. Sebastian speeds up to 25 kilometers. Oh, and he manages to make an emergency break that brings the border team 500 points. Very good, Sebastian. Come on, you, you still have five more disciplines, Sebastian. <laughs> Just only 50 points from Tram Billiard for Sebastian and Bordeaux. Oh, oh hey, go, come on, no! <laughs> oh, I think, I think the fire extinguisher is out. Uh, well, this is this is a first. I'm not sure how uh, the referee, the referees will will um, point that, will score that. Sorry, I'm a little bit curious regarding that situation, but I'm glad that Sebastian managed to put the tram in motion into the fourth discipline with the dummy discipline. Let's see now if he manages to get some points. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's see now with the perfect stop. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not that perfect. Now, moving on to Tramble Link. Double is still on the first place. Very good hit. Very good hit. We can see. I think he has like seven seven points. He managed to take down seven points times 30. Those are good points. 
And now we can see that uh, Seged is on the second, second place on the scoreboard. We still have Dublin in the first place, Seged and Kosice. Now we will uh, head over to Stockholm with Fredrik Forsberg. Victor am lângă mine echipajul din Stockholm care se pregătește să pornească la start să întrebi pe ei cum a fost. Now Bogdan will have an interview with the Stockholm team. How did it go in the first run and what are your hopes for this run? You're going to take uh, the cup, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, which uh, discipline did you find the most difficult? Uh, probably stop with it all, yeah. I think that's going to be the most difficult. Yeah. Because you have no references, you don't know where to break, right? Exactly. It's like in snooker, it's in Tublakan snooker, you just uh, break and hope, right? or break. <laughs> exactly. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good luck. Uh, I tried to remember the Swedish name for that, but I forgot it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, Stockholm team with Frederick Forsberg driving the streetcar. You also heard him that the most difficult one discipline, most difficult discipline is the one with a perfect, with a perfect stop. Because they don't have any, any side views and back views from rear mirrors or cameras. They just have to use their skill. They, do, they don't have that much experience driving this kind of street cars. So uh, anytime now, they will push the green button. And start the second run for Stockholm team with Frederick Forsberg driving the street car. We're still uh, waiting uh, for the referees. Victor, we have a small problem with one of the tramways that will have to be removed and will be in the place. It's about the tramway Siemens, which it seems to have a problem that can't be remedied immediately, so that it will be in the place of another tramway. We're having a technical problem with that Siemens tram cart. And uh, they will remove that street card and uh, bring another street card because of the technical situations. So we'll just have to wait for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I will fill you in uh, with some Tramium history. So, as I was saying, in 2017, the Tenerife competition, the first time when uh, are awarded separate prizes. Separate prizes, Europe's best female tram driver and the best European tram driver. Franka Sontag from Berlin won the title of Europe's best female tram driver, followed by Susanna Lednitschki from Budapest and Alexandra Engeset from Bergen. The best European tram driver is Karim Manoush from Paris, followed by Tilo Korbian from Fa Frankfurt and Christoph Engelmann from Zurich. The baton for hosting the Tram EM 2018 goes to Stuttgart. And in uh, 2018, the Stutt Stuttgart competition, we had 25 teams from uh, 19 European countries. That was a record number. And the championship marked the high point of the celebration for 150 years of trams in Stuttgart. The six disciplines were based on the daily challenges of the tram drivers. For example, when estimating the lateral distance, 
It was about correctly assessing obstacles such as parked cars in order to ensure accident-free passage by train. Other disciplines were estimating speed with a covered speedometer, target braking, an exact stop with a double door and a sweep shrap barrier and tram bowling, a magnet for spectators. The most successful were Sara Asprenström and Jonas Arvidsson from Stockholm, Sweden, followed by the teams from Frankfurt and Bergen. So Sweden, Stockholm, won the 2018 competition from Stuttgart. And at the end, SSB board member Wolfgang Arnold hands over the baton to Mark Kuldiser and Roland de Coaster from the Brussels Transport Company. In 2019, we have Brussels competition, and uh, as I said it before, they are the meat busters because they managed to take down that meat and they won the competition also as a hosting team. That was, that was, quite, that was quite the thing. So in Brussels, 25 teams from 21 European countries celebrate the 8th European Tram Driver Championship in the heart of Belgian capital. The competition is part of the celebrations of the 150th anniversary of trams in Brussels and the metropolitan area. Well, it took only seven years for uh, a hosting team to win the championship. Let's see what's going on with the second street card. The team from uh, Stockholm, they're a little bit uh, anxious to start, also nervous. Okay, so as you can see, now they're, they're bringing in the the second street card because they had to remove the bowling pins. So uh, come on, going back to the to the to the history, tram EM history. So in 2019, one team outperforms the others from the start. The Midbusters, Lawrence Mirt and Mesut. Tascaran from Brussels took the lead with the first run and can no longer be driven from there. In doing so, they proved that it is possible to win on the home track. Teams from uh, Moscow and Oradia follow on the places. Best female tram drivers are Lauren Smith from Brussels, followed by Linda Brandon from Rotterdam and Nicole Pradova from Prague. And for the best male tram driver, we have Thiago Ferreira, Ferreira sorry, from Luxembourg, followed by Anton Medvedev, Medvedev, Anton Medvedev from Moscow and Mesut Tascaram from Brussels. Orada took over the baton to host the ninth tram EM championship in 2020. But unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, the, competitions was, the competition was suspended in the following two years. That's why we are now in Oradea in 2023, because in 2020, in 2021, we had the corona pandemic break. So last year, 2022, we had the Leipzig competition with 25 teams from 19 European countries 
and for the first time a team from Melbourne, Australia are uh, also competing for the breast prize. So the, the, the team from Stockholm can now start because the other, the second tram is in place. Everything is okay, so they push the green button. Now we can see Frederick Forsberg. So that was a very good start. Spinning up to 25. Heading the emergency break. Getting 100 points. Easy now. We still need the referee. <laughs> Let's see now uh, how Ian will do with the tram bowling. Tram billiard, sorry. Oh, that was a soft touch. 400 points. Very, very good. Okay, that was super fast from uh, Frederick Forsberg. And now we can see Lisa Fuchs signaling, signaling for Frederick that uh, he can uh, drive. I, I don't think. Yeah, 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 yeah. The referee had to pull the dummy out. And now the most difficult of them all is the perfect. It's the perfect stop. Let's see how Frederick is doing. Oh, I think he managed to get some points. 150 is better than nothing. Very good, very good, Frederick. Very good. And now we'll go to tram bowling. Oh, very good speed. Let's go! Oh! So, uh, almost all, uh, all the pins were down. Wow! Check out the time! Two minutes! Wow! Very good. Very good Stockholm. Very good run. Very good run, Stockholm. Yeah, they managed to get a very good point. And we have Stockholm on first. <laughs> on first place with 3,590 3, points. Oh, Dublin, I'm sorry for you, Dublin. You're still on the second, though. The second place. And uh, second on the third place with 3,200 points. Now we're gonna go over with uh, to the Oslo team with Robert Anderson. Now the Oslo team getting ready to start. Come on, come on, you can do it. Spinning up to 25. And now emergency break. And I think that's 250 points. Very good. Very good run from Oslo. First discipline, now Trent Billiard. Okay, he's going in for a soft touch. That was a soft touch. 400 points. Very good. Very good, Robert. He managed to put out the fire. And now, Emily Nordley signals Robert Anderson that he can uh, drive into the fourth discipline, the dummy discipline. Let's see now how many points will he take. 
I mean, he didn't he didn't touch the dummy, but yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit far off. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. And now moving on to the fifth discipline, the most difficult one. So let's see if he can stop. No, okay, okay. Oh, no, that's a different door. <laughs> oh, oh, Robert, I'm sorry for this. Very far away. So zero points in the fifth discipline and in the sixth discipline, the bowling discipline. He managed to get 180 points. Yeah, 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 you have to stop. Very good. Two and a half minutes. Congratulations, Oslo, for that run. I know it's not easy. So uh, we're left with only 10 teams. Who do you think will win this uh, championship? Please write it down in the commentary section. So uh, no, now we're going to Basel team with Erkan Pamuk. So you can see the the results now: Stockholm, Dublin, Oslo, Seged, and Kosice. Oh, so Seged fell down on the fourth place. Brussels fifth, Warsaw, Bordeaux, Barcelona, Hanover, and the tenth. Berlin, Zagreb, Malaga, Florence, and Kiev. You can see the final results. Also uh, from the second round. So we are still. Uh, we still have ten teams to go. And uh, we started now with Erkan Pamuk, the second round for Basel team. Okay. Speed it up to 25. And now he managed to gain only 50 points. Moving on to the second discipline, Tram Billiard. He really has to touch only the Q. That was that was a hard hit on the on the ball. Just a uh, hundred points. So now Erkan has to put that fire out. Very good. So now he receives the sing signal that he can uh, drive. From his sister. Okay, it's okay. I'm not sure what happened. Did the referee took the dummy or? Oh no no no! Everything is okay. He managed to get some points. And now, the fifth discipline, the most, uh, the most impossible one, <laughs> very difficult discipline. No, that was that was a little bit far off for Erkan to get any points. And now in the trembling. Wow! Wow! That was a very good hit. So we have the number six, the number two, and uh, maybe the number one. Not sure though. They also have a, a good, uh, a good time. Two minutes and twelve seconds. Very good. Very good. So we're also down with the uh, Oslo team, moving on to Rotterdam with uh, Raju. Chanderban Bagoe Raju, I really have to apologize. I 
I, I think I, I misspelled your name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So as you can see, the first place, Stockholm, second, Dublin, and the third, Oslo. It's quite a difference in the, in the score. But let's see now Rotterdam, because we are getting close to the winning teams for, from the first run. And that means that they already have gained a lot of points in the first run. So it's getting uh, more intense with each team that finishes their second round. So we can see now Rotterdam speeding up to 25 kilometers. Andrasiu is waiting for the red uh, traffic light to appear and for him to stop. Oh, is that a 500? Yes, 500 points. Very good. Very, very good. Very good, Raju. Now, Tram Billiard. Oh, I think that was a good hit. I think that was a good hit. So he managed to score another 150 points. Now he's rushing to put out the fire. Very good. So Raju gets the signal that he can uh, drive. Let's see if he can uh, get some points for Rotterdam in this fourth discipline. Oh, that was a slight touch. Unfortunately, zero points. And now the hardest discipline. So the third double door has to be stopped in this area. It will be perfect if the red arrow from the street card is facing the red arrow. But unfortunately, not. The red arrow from the street cards facing only the sidewalk, so zero points on that. Oh, Raju, that was that was super soft. So also zero points on uh, tram bowling. And also they have to stop the timer, which they did. They have a good time, two minutes and 18 seconds. That's a good time. But unfortunately, Raju didn't manage to score any high points. So I think that Stockholm is still in the lead. So we're moving on now to the Gothenburg team. With Robert Johnson on the second run. And uh, Emily Hallman. So they are ready to start. They are very confident. I could see that on uh, Robert's face. Okay, Robert, do it. Oh, nice. He managed to start the, the card uh, in eight seconds, which is uh, quite perfect. And now with the uh, emergency brake. Oh, nice. 350. And now with the tram billiard. That, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, yeah. Very good, Robert. Very good, Robert. So he's already 850 points in, plus the points gained from the third discipline. 
And now let's see Emily if uh, she can do a good job positioning the dummy for Robert. Let's see if they can get some points. I think the scoreboard will look differently after their run. Okay, so Emily signals Robert that he can uh, he can drive. Come on, Robert, you're still under two minutes. Come on, Robert. Will it pass? Yes. He passed. Now let's see the points. Oh, nice. Very good, very good, Robert. Very good, Robert. And now the most difficult one. Oh. Oh, no, Robert. Robert. Okay. Moving on to trampoline. Come on, Robert. Your last chance. Oh, oh, yes. Four pins are down. And uh, they are... There are two minutes and 30 seconds with a very good score. Let's see the first run and the second run. If they can make a change in the scoreboard. Is Stockholm going to be on the first after this round? Yeah, I think they are so nervous, the team from Stockholm. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations, Gothenburg. And uh, yeah, also Stockholm, they're in the second place now. I think they're happy for each other. It looks like a family business. <laughs> so Gothenburg, the first... Oh, he can speak Romanian. He would like to thank everybody that, uh, that supported the team. They're happy on their score that they get. They are a very strong team. <laughs> What's happening? We're having two teams that also have two Romanians, or at least uh, Robert Johnson. Oh, so, so he was born and raised in Bucharest, and he moved 15 years ago in Sweden. <laughs> Very nice, Robert. Robert Johnson. And now we're. Uh, Heading to the Debrecen team with Tekla Hartiani. And they already started. Okay, let's see now Tekla. Spring up to 25 kilometers and let's see the emergency brake. Oh, that's good. That's very good, Tekla. 450, I think. 450. Not sure, though. And now we will see the points gathered from uh, Sean Billiard. Oh, that was a good hit. Very good, Tekla. 250. She puts out the fire quite fast. Now she waits 
for the signal. Okay, so Tekla, she gets the signal now. They are one and a half minutes in the second round. I think I think that was that was a slight touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a slight touch. It's okay, Tekla. Still have time. Maybe we'll have a surprise score now. And the fifth discipline. The hardest one. Oh, unfortunately, zero points. But with a bowling, oh, unfortunately, Tikla touched the bowling pins. So that will be like zero points. Oh, Tikla. You have a good time on uh, your run, but unfortunately not that many points, although they will add up to the first run. Anyhow, we are moving to the Nuremberg team. With Claudia Meyer Weber and their special uh, team support. Local supporters gathered at the Nuremberg Museum. I think they are also excited for them to see their run. Will they be able to? get ahead Gothenburg that has 4,180 points. Let's see. I think in about two minutes or at least three minutes we will have that answer. So Nuremberg with Claudia Mayer Weber. Oh, Claudia. That was a little bit too fast. Or perfect. I mean, I don't know. If she saw the the red light and she stopped, it was quite a fast stop. But unfortunately, zero points. Oh, Trambillard Trem, brings 350 points for Nuremberg team. And now Claudia is getting ready to put that fire out. So she gets the signal that she can drive from Christopher. And then Claudia sets the tram cart in motion. And uh, she manages to pass the dummy. But is that enough? to get some points, unfortunately not. Zero points. Let's see now. Going to the fifth discipline, the hardest discipline. I, I think the third double door, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. Yeah. Hmm. So zero points for Claudia, also on the fifth discipline. And now the tram bowling. Okay, Claudia, speed up the tram cart and hit that bowling ball.
I hope everything is is okay with Claudia and the tram card. It looked like some technical problems. Oh. I'm sorry, Claudia. That w it wasn't enough power for the ball to hit the bowling pins. So we have three minutes and uh, some points that will be added to the points gather from the round one. So. Gutenberg still on the first place, still uh, on the lead. We can see the results now. Gutenberg, Stockholm, Dublin, Oslo, Rotterdam. So that was the top five. And now moving on with Seged, Basel, Kosice, Brussels, and Warsaw. The next five teams on the scoreboard. Go to Debrecen, Bordeaux, Barcelona, Nuremberg, Hanover. And we have Berlin, Zagreb, Malaga, Florence, and Kiev. So now we're moving to the last five teams. Leipzig with Olaf Hoffmann. Okay, the first discipline. Oh, he manages to score 500 points, if I'm not mistaken. Or Wait, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening because we can see the referee. Oh, okay, so actually Olaf didn't manage to speed up the tram car to 25 kilometers. So that's why the, the referee didn't didn't score any points for him and uh, the tram billiard manages only to get 50 points so Olaf you really have to speed up your game because there are not many points for your team to really make a difference on the scoreboard he gets the signal now that he can uh, start. Let's see now what's about to happen. So far, so good. But will. Yes, they are getting also points 100 points. Very good, Olaf. Now moving, moving on to the fifth discipline, the hardest discipline of them all, the perfect stop. So the third double door, it's kind of far off. Nope, that's far, so zero points also from that. So trembling. Will uh, will he manage to take out the? Oh, nice, nice. Also, the five went down. I'm not sure if they're gonna score. Also, the five pin, the fifth pin, the pin with the number five on it. So two minutes and forty-three seconds. For Leipzig, we're going on. on the How is this for you? 
It, it, was a, it was a bit stressful the for them, pumping. but they managed <laughs> to finish the race. Congratulations for your result today. And how was it for you? Her heart is pumping uh, too fast and she cannot speak. I, I think okay, that Bogdan said that. And now, moving on to, to Orada's team. Hai să vorbim puțin cu ei, să vedem cum se simt înaintea unei manșe atât de importante. Au trecut emoțiile din prima rundă, poate că acum sunteți puțin mai liniștiți. Poate, dar sperăm ce, ce e mai bun. So do, do you have a, what's your nervous level like? They still, they still have, they still have some uh, emotions over the second round. <laughs> she thinks that the bowling uh, discipline is the hardest one for her. Looking forward to start uh, the second round. <laughs> These are some good supporters over there. Okay. So hopefully she managed to speed up the tram car to 25 kilometers. No, that's a no because uh, she didn't manage to stop the cart on the scoring board over there. Moving on now. The tram billiard. Come on. Come on, Eva. What's happening? That was a soft touch. I think, I think it's okay. She can get some points out of it. Not that many, though, but some points. She managed to put that to put that fire out. Now let's see. The Tommy discipline. Let's see Eva if she can manage if she can manage to get some points out of this discipline. Mm, kind of close. So that's a zero pointer for Vorada's team. Uh, I think it's a zero pointer also on the fifth discipline and uh, moving on to the hardest discipline for Eva for the tram driver she doesn't like this uh, discipline let's see What's about to happen? So we have two pins down. Very good. Also very good time. They managed to score also some points. So Eva Rosalia Karoli and uh, Leonte Monica. The first time to compete in uh, in this Tram EM cham European Championship. Congratulations! No, no, this is not good. It's not okay. So she's not happy about uh, what she did. Where do you think uh, you failed? And she she believes that. She believes that she failed at the speeding because she doesn't like she doesn't like to to speed. So how was the competition for you? It was it was awesome. 
He really loves the idea of this championship. He had fun. Congratulations. Please don't be upset. Let's high five on this. And uh, moving on to, to Prague with Nicole Pravdova. And uh, Gutenberg still on the first first place. We can see Nicole. She's going to drive now into the first discipline. She has to speed up to 25 kilometers. I mean, that's a must. And uh, after that, she has to stop when the traffic red light appears. I think I think she has like 25 kilometers. And also, she manages to score some points, 100 points for Prague. Very good, Nicole. Let's see now the tram billiard. She takes a soft approach. Very good. 300 points from Nicole Pravdova. And now she has to put that fire out. Awesome. So, uh, Nicola, she's one minute in. She already gets the signal from Daniel that she can drive. Come on, Nicole, you're still under two minutes. Maybe you can, uh, you can score also a very good time on this second run. I don't think she touched the dummy. Oh, perfect. 150. Very good. Let's see if Nicole is able to make a perfect stop in this fifth discipline. With the third double door. Uh, I think, yes. Very good, Nicole. One, 100 points. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's 100 points for Nicole. And now the tram bowling, the sixth discipline. Go, Nicole, go, spit it up. More power. Oh, nice. Very good. Two bowling pins. Okay, two minutes and 20 seconds, I might say. Very good. Very good. Oh, Gothenburg. Gothenburg, they're not smiling. <laughs> Let's see now. Let's see now the final score. I want to remind you that uh, we, we have only two teams left. Oh, Gothenburg still in the first place. But Prague is in, on the second now, so Stockholm is on third. Wow. And now, with uh, VN, Sandra Kaider will uh, be the driver in the second round. I'm very curious what's about to happen. So, uh, hey, somebody is uh, quite happy here next to us. I'm not sure. Okay, going with uh, the Vienna team with Sandra. Sandra Kaider. Okay, Sandra, she managed to put a tram card in motion in about 10 seconds. But did, did she speed up to 25? Yes, she did. Oh, very good. Very good. I think, I think she managed to score 500. I'm not, I'm not sure. But at least 450. And now she's moving on to a tram billiard. The only place 
you can play this uh, type of billiard. He's on the tram tracks. Oh! But 50 points are 50 points. Sandra Kaider rushing to put that fire out. Okay, Sandra, come on. You still have a, a good time. One minute in. And she's already heading to the fourth discipline, the dummy discipline. Let's see if she can do it. Think, oh no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She touched the dummy, so zero points. Let's see now if she can score here. It's a double double stop, perfect stop. Oh, very good, Sandra. Congratulations. So, 300 points. And now, going to tram bowling. Whew. To be honest, I'm, I'm also a little bit nervous. <laughs> Oh, very good, Sandra. Very good hit. Oh, we have the second strike. <laughs> yeah. And check out the time. Two minutes and 23 seconds. Wow, very good, Sandra. Okay, now I'm nervous. On, uh, on the score. Oh, Gothenburg, they're not, they're not that happy. Yes, it was. <laughs> A lot of adrenaline going on through their system. Oh, Gothenburg still on the first place. They just managed to to score the Vienna. Wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, Vienna. Vienna is on the first place with 4,300. <laughs> wow. So Vienna, yeah. Vienna is on the first place. Gothenburg on the second and Prague on third. And we still have Zagreb on the line. And uh, let's not forget that Zagreb scored the most points in the first run. So will they manage to take Vienna out of the first podium place? Mm, let's see. <laughs> okay, now I, I can really feel the tension increasing here. <laughs> It's all or nothing for the Zagreb team. And let's see now, Vienna, they, they already have a lot of adrenaline rushing to their system. <laughs> so uh, Liliana Peso Rojic will be the driver. Come on, come on, Liliana, you can do it. Yes. So before, before the last run, ah, sportsmanship, fair play, very very nice of you, Sandra. Okay, on the second run. So we started. With the last team from Zagreb, Liana Petsorogic, the second run. She has to speed up the tram car to 25 kilometers. And after that, when the traffic light is red, she has to stop. Oh! Oh, I, I think she didn't speed up to 25 kilometers. Oh, sorry, Liliana, no points for you in the first discipline. And, and this, oh, 
Oh, what happened? Oh, I think it's the wind. Oh, just 50 points. The ball went backwards. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Come on, Liliana, you can do it. She's spinning up to put that fire out. Very good, very good, Liliana. Yeah, just drop it, forget it. So you're one minute in. She's waiting the signal from uh, Dominic Jurcevic. Yeah, that's the signal. That's the go signal. For the first dis for the fourth discipline, the dummy discipline. Let's see now, Liliana. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think she's okay. Yes. But are there any points? Oh, so close. Zero points. Zero points. Okay. Okay, two more disciplines. Two more disciplines. A hard discipline and a fun discipline. So the double door has to open, and where's the red arrow? Oh, there's no red arrow. Oh, no. Oh, no, Lilian, I'm sorry. Can she manage to pull a strike? Let's see now, let's see now. Liliana Pesorocic with the last hit. Oh, nothing, what just happened? I think Vienna won, I'm not sure though. <laughs> oh, very good time, very good run. They had fun. And now everybody waits to see the final results. And also Vienna, oh, they are so nervous. Is Zagreb going to take them down? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what's about to happen. And the result is Vienna's on the first place with 4,300 points, followed by Gothenburg with 4,180 points, and on the third, Prague with 3,630 points. We will still have. Yes, very good, Vienna. to celebrate today? Oh, yeah. with us? <laughs> a party, maybe? Uh, I don't know who's watching. Somebody's so, going to no? have a few years <laughs> tonight. <laughs> okay, now uh, Mr. Adrian Drevnik is going to give you the award. He's going to uh, hand you the trophy of this year's competition. Domnule Drevnik, vă rog să acordați acest premiu. Congratulations, Vienna, for winning the Applause 2023 Trend EM Championship. You are the best trend drivers from Europe. So this was it, guys. The Tramium Championship, the Europe Championship of 2023 has just finished. And uh, Vienna taking the first place, winning. We're also going to have the best uh, tram driver. We will see a little bit later. But for now, 
I want to I wanna thank you guys for being with us. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So we can uh, notify you every time we upload something new. And uh, I'm not sure we'll next year we'll be held the championship. That's why it would be good for you to check out also the Tram EM. And 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 also on the YouTube page, also on Facebook. So we can keep in touch with you. So we can see now the results, the final results again. Vienna, the first place. Dublin, Oslo, Rotterdam, Seged, Basel. Moving on to Kosice, Brussels, Warsaw, Oradea, Leipzig, Debrecen, Bordeaux, Barcelona, Nuremberg, Hanover, the 20th place, Berlin, Malaga, Florence, Kiev, and on the last place, Dresden. I'm Katalin Konstantin. Thank you again for being with us. And uh, have a lovely weekend. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell button so we can notify you whenever we upload something new. All the best to you guys. See you soon. Bye bye.